Hello, and welcome to this training for how to log in to the new IPAI student portal. First, go to the IPAI website, which is ipaieducation.org. You can follow along. You see my cursor has a yellow circle around it. Once the IPAI website loads, you're going to come over here to the upper right hand corner and click on the blue account login button. That is how you will get into the IPAI student portal. Let's click on it together. Okay, the IPAI student portal has now loaded. You can see it says right here, IPAI student portal. So what you're going to do to log in for the very first time in our new system is you're going to come over here and you're going to click on forgot your password. So click on forgot your password. And when this box loads, you're going to type in the email address that you have on file with us. Now we've made up a pretend user account called IPAI Bodhi for Bodhi McBoatface is our fake user's name. So you're going to type in your email address here, just like I'm typing in Bodhi's email address, and you're going to hit submit. It says right here, the password reset details have been sent to you in your email address that's on file with us. So go ahead then and go into your email, whether it's uh, through Outlook or uh, another system such as Gmail. I've got Bodies loaded up here in this tab right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And you can see right here, here's the email from the IPAI student portal for the password reset. So once that email comes through, go ahead and click on it. And you can see here's the email with all the details. A request was made for the student portal account with this login name. Your email address is your login name in our system. So it has your login name slash email address right there. And then it's going to give you a temporary three uh, character password. Um, so what you're going to do is click on the IPAI student portal link right here. And then you're going to click uh, enter your email address in here, which again for me was ipai.bodhi, but you type in your email address. And then right here, you're going to put in that temporary password. Let me click back for a moment. My temporary password is 5F1. So I'm going to put that in here and then click sign in. So right here, it's going to ask you to change your password because we don't want anyone to have a three character password that's not very secure. So I'm gonna type in that first password I, I was given the temporary one, which is five F1. And then I'm going to type in a brand new password that's unique uh, for me. Please, whatever you do, don't use the word password for your actual password. So go ahead and type in a new password now. And once that is done, hit. Okay, so welcome to your new user profile in the IPAI student portal. This is what it looks like when it loads up for you. And this is the screen that uh, you will see when you log in for the very first time. If you scroll down here under general details, you'll see that several of these blanks have red stars next to them. That means that as it says up here, these must be completed. You are required to fill out each and every single one of these in order to be able to move forward in the system. And I'll show you, if you were to come over here to the left, there's an option here that says search catalog. If you were to click on this without completing these required fields, it's just gonna take you right back here and make you fill them out. So let's just take a quick minute and, uh, and fill out these required fields. Last four digits of your SSN, you may be asking why we need that. It's because it's required by the Department of Revenue when we report courses to them. So that's why we ask you to please fill that out. It makes reporting much smoother. 
After you type in your job title and organization name and your SSN, last four digits, you're going to select organization type. I'm using Joliet Township, um, so you're going to click, uh, click Township Office. You don't need to worry about this. This is something that IPAI staff will take care of for you. Uh, your email address will already be loaded in there. Phone one, I would say that's your primary phone number. So if you use your mobile or your home as your primary phone number, or if you're in an office, and that's your primary phone, go ahead and uh, type that in. You can put your fax number in there if you want to. It's not a required field though. Um, down here under uh, location, you're gonna type in your address. City, state, zip code. That's not the real zip code for Joliet. I can't remember it right now off the top of my head. Uh, right here underneath um, county, I'm gonna type in the county. You can see right here, I type W because Joliet is in Will County. And as I begin to type that, it begins to populate. So you can just go ahead and click on that. It'll put Will County in there. Um, most of our students are in Illinois, although we do have some folks from outside of Illinois who take our courses. And once you select the state, um, country will automatically populate in down here. At the very bottom, if you're on LinkedIn or Twitter or you're on Facebook or Skype, you can fill in, um, put links to your profiles in there. Before we hit save, let's scroll up to the top real quick. And uh, I'll go ahead and hit, uh, hit save to make sure those details aren't lost. Back here at the top, underneath, I'm going to click on account and show this to you. Um, there's a few things here that may be helpful for you in the future. My orders, this will show you um, any course that you've uh, registered and, and paid for through us. Save for later. There's an option in this new system in our new portal for you to be able to look at courses and bookmark them. But you may have uh, uh, interest in taking them later on this year, but aren't prepared to actually put them in your cart and pay for them today. My coupons, uh, this will be if, you, let's say you receive a scholarship from the IPAI, that's where you'll find the credits for that. And wish list, um, very similar to sort of an Amazon wish list. This gives you the opportunity to uh, click on courses that you know you, you may be interested in taking at some point, maybe not this year or next year, but it could be just of interest level to you in some kind. And that's very helpful, not only for our students, but also for staff, because we're going to be able to see um, which courses folks add to their wish list. So that helps us determine interests in courses. If you ever wanna change your password again, you can click right here, change my password. That brings that up for you to click on. Um, over here in settings, these are additional ways that you can customize your experience within the IPAI student portal. For instance, on language, if you don't want to use US English, if maybe you are uh, French Canadian and would prefer to, uh, to use that, you can change the, your uh, default language to that and, uh, and use that moving forward. So, and the last thing I would tell you, your profile picture, um, it just is BM again for our user account, Bodie McBoatface. Um, but if you'd like to add a, a profile pic in there, just uh, hover your mouse over the top of your initials, click Add Profile Pick, and you can upload a picture there from your computer. So that is uh, basically how you get in and set up your, your initial profile after logging in. And then I'm gonna click over here, put my mouse in here and click on the Home button. And this will take you to the Student Portal homepage, which is what will load when you log in moving forward. So thanks so much for spending a few minutes with us to learn how to log in and set up your profile within the uh, IPAI student portal. We have more videos on how to do other items within the student portal. We hope you'll take a few minutes to watch. Thank you.